Welcome to the analysis of this channel. I want to continue appreciating so much because of your continued towards supporting the work of this channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. As you know that after Ofula Chebukati announced William Samuiruto president-elect, remember as Miola Umoja was having their member of parliament, in fact elected ones. Then Kenya Kwanza that led by William Ruto, they also won the member of parliament seats, elected ones. In terms of the population of the Azimio's member of parliament and uh, Kenya Kwanza member of parliament, Azimio has been ranked as the most um, coalition that is having majority in the National Assembly. So Azimio Lomoja is having 162 elected member of parliament with different political parties that entails ODM party, Jubilee party, Wiper party, UDM party, Upia party, DPK party. One thing when it comes to also Kenya Kwanza, Kenya Kwanza is having 159 elected ones with several different political parties inside Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Something that has been bringing a lot of conversation is after William Samoruto has uh, go and extend, has went in extent to um, to entering the house of Azimio. How has he managed to enter into Azimio's house? He has now successfully managed to convince seven elected members of parliament elected with the UDM party that has decided to come joining Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Then I want to ask a simple question. What does law of the political party act says? I think after elections, you cannot immediately defect from a coalition to go to another coalition. According to law and according to the act of political party, you are going to remain in that coalition no matter what until it reaches six months. Then when you decide to move to the other, uh, other coalition, I think there are certain repercussions that you must make. If you are elected with ODM party, registered under Azimio Longmoja, it means that there must be re-election there because you have defied, you have went against what the political party act says now remember another question comes like this does this member of parliament that william samuto has wooed from azimula omoja going to affect the certain number of azimula omoja in national assembly i want to say of course yes because in terms of voting or operation of the parliament, they must affect the number. For example, Azimio Lomoja is having 162 members of parliament. Kenya Kwanza is having 159. Seven members of parliament has defected from Azimio Lomoja. They are in Kenya Kwanza lands after William Samuta has wooed them. Now take 162 minus 7 you get 155. 155, then take that 7 that you have managed from Azimio, add it to Kenya Kwanza. 159 plus uh, 7 is going to be 166, member of parliament. So when it comes to the operation in the National Assembly, it means that William Samuruto has started to prepare himself. If any case will not be filed in Supreme Court, it means that he is well to go. But furthermore, there was certain issue that 
was ri uh, was um, rising yesterday, and I uh, I, uh, I spotted in um, Sonko's Twitter handle saying that the handshake between William Ruto and Kalonzo Musyoka is loading. And this is why I have prepared this video. So without wasting time, if you are a visitor and you have not subscribed to this channel, I'm requesting you the humble heart. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those, of course, who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. Now, let us continue. Do this handshake between William Samuruto and Kalonzo Musyoka can it be successful? Then I want to give my reasons why it cannot be successful and why at times it might be successful. So I want us to start number one. This handshake for now in this period of time, now, even before the Azimio has not filed the case in the Supreme Court. Kalonzo Msioka cannot have handshake with William Samoruto, and this is the reason. So far, Kalonzo Msioka is so much concentrating. If they are going to file case against Kenya Kwanza Alliance victory, and that is why he is still having hope when it comes to the numbers that they are claiming that they won these elections. So according to Kalonzo, he is feeling comfortable in Azimula Omoja per what they believed that they did not lose this election. So for him to come and have handshake, this might sabotage uh, Kenya Kwanza uh, Azimula Omoja badly because, yes, according to law, they might not be required to move out from Kenya uh, as Mula Omoja for now. But when it comes to going to Kenya Kwanza, it is possible for them to go and affect the numbers in National Assembly. Number two, why is it that Kalonzo Mseo cannot not have handshake with William Samuruto now? Um, when it comes to the law as per Political Party Act says, it means that after election, immediately you cannot defect from a coalition moving to a coalition. It means at least six months after election, then you can do so. So for him, I don't see if Kalonzo Msoka can agree with uh, William Samurto's handshake. Number three is that Kalonzo Msoka is likely to be a flag bearer when it comes to the politics of Azimio Raumoja. As a matter of fact, Raila Odinga's term has come to an end. Vying for five times, I think he will not vie again. But literally, I want to say the reason why Kalonzo Msioka is feeling like he is comfortable in Azimio because at least Azimio is having space not like Kenya Kwanza Alliance when it comes to 2017, 2027 or 2032. You see Mdavadi is there. People like Indiki Kiture are there. People like Justin Muturi are there. People like Alfred Mutu are there. People like Wetangula are there. So many of them, they are there just watching and waiting. Am I going to be given this um, mandate? Is William Ruto going to hand over to me? And that is what Kalonzo Musioka is feeling like. He is comfortable in uh, Azimio Lomoja. Now, those are things that Kalonzo Musioka uh, uh, cannot have handshake with William Ruto. Now, what are these things can make Kalonzo Musioka to join Kenya Kwanza? One, if William Samoto is going to offer him a cabinet secretary that is having so much impact in the Kenya Kwanza lands that in future his politics is going to have a way. And so, with his member of parliament coming to Kenya Kwanza Alliance, is possible for now, going to affect the numbers of Azimura Omoja in National Assembly. Now, after being given 
the main issue is that he is going to be offered with certain cabinet secretary. Number two, in case of losing the petition in court, William Samoruto can decide to work with William Samoruto. Yeah, those are possibilities when it comes to the politics. Now, a num number three is if Kalonzo Msoka is uh, with William Ruto, Ruto is like preparing certain movement, strong movement that is going to move till about even 20 years or 30 years when it comes to his politics. And that is whatever is happening. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Because so far, William Samuto has been denied access to convince Kalonzo Msoka, though he has prepared certain committee to convince Kalonzo Msoka. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of watching video. You all are so great people. I'm so much humble. I'm grateful. Bye-bye. Till we meet on another video.